fires are lit. You had me followed. Inquired about. A candle hob. They carry messages through the city. Why does everyone call him the Viper? Are we here for the Shadow Dragons? I trade news with the Shadows, but it takes more than one source to get along here. Besides, I was doing this before they came knocking, before Varret, too, right here in Docktown. Take it away. I'm ready for the full tour. We've been here before. Ah, the tour where I get to look around and not chase cultists or fight demons. Wouldn't that be something? Come on, there's paper sellers all over here. Want to see if they got your name right? <laughs> Most papers don't say much, but read between the lines and you pick up a thing or two. I'm not here as much lately. I'll take what news I can get. Let's grab a few copies. We'll see if we can find Bellara's cereals too. So, before Varric, before the Shadows, you worked for... Same as now. People who find me and have jobs are worth taking. Docktown people, runaways, the desperate. And you do this on your own? I've got contacts, informants, people I cross paths with, but at the end of the day, yeah, it's just me. Okay, keep an eye out for paper sellers. We'll start on the north side of Lower City. How many do we need? No. Don't worry. I am paying. Let's get started. The best word in Docktown, right here. How'd you fall in with the shadows? I'd worked with some of them before. Not that they were upfront about it. What changed? I was after a missing person. The Viper was hunting slavers. Our paths had the same end. And your missing person? You're the one person. Free you and it first. breathing when we finished. The shadows brought me in after that. I'll save this one for the Viper. Spotted at a local fish fry. So most of the time you work here alone. You like it that way? It's easy. another rebellion. But you like oh, us, no. right? <laughs> You're alright. What happened in Marnus Pell? One paper. First hand account. Thanks. I've got a contact who works this area. Let's see if he's around. Ooh, 
smell of this. You've got a good arm. I was starting to think my good name. Okay. The charm's good against all manner of curses and manipulation. Fair price. And you won't find better in the Circle District. You won't find better at the Circle, but you will off the docks. For half the price and twice the enchantment. Nev. <laughs> Alec? Oh, if you say it's... Uh, thanks, I'll pass. Uh, sorry. Hey, if I'd known, I would have told you. Come back next week. I'll buy another paper. I write them myself. The Magisters. They don't print the truth. Most honest thing I'll hear today. What about you? Is there something you're buying, my friend? Maybe another time. Today I'm here to meet Nev's friends. Brooke, by the way. Friends? All right then. Elik Tava. Does this mean we're even for... No. But if you've got any news... Not much that I'd interest you. We chased a relic through Ducktown. The buyer was Venatori, but the smuggler belonged to the Thread Crime Syndicate. You're a Thread? We don't deal with cultists. Your smuggler broke the rules. She's out. And the Venatori? There's been more in Docktown. Boss says it's under control. But between us, I don't like it. Then it's worth keeping an eye on. If you hear anything, so will you. You know a member of the Thread Crime Syndicate, personally. Don't tell me you're surprised. I thought you'd be on opposite sides. Nothing's that easy. They're a problem, and they keep worse problems away. Whether we're on the same side depends when you ask. But we've got more to see. Let's go. If we want more gossip, we need more papers. Let's head to the south side. You've lived in what Docktown your whole life. First Since I was born. Unless I'm out of the city for a job. Had a few apartments around town. The current one, it's not the lighthouse, but it's mine. You've been an investigator for a while. It's not a short story. You've made it this far. Is there a secret? Trust people enough to get things done, not enough to get you killed. I guess that works. Until it doesn't. The latest chapter is we'll take here. One. one of Bell's cereals. Great. You know, Barrack hired me not far from here. Come on, Slick. Stop a ritual. Save the world. It'll be fun. I should have said no. The real news in Doctor. I think we've got enough. Get it here. What now? Now I'm starving. And I know the best place in the city. Doing all right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh... The lighthouse doesn't have this. What? A view of the water. I don't know. It helps me think. But we've got places to be. Come on. You! This fish won't eat itself. I said next time you were here, it was free. Sure thing, Hal. Next time. 
Yeah, yeah. It's always something. Joining Varric, us, do you really wish you'd said no? No. I just have a bad habit of picking jobs that go sideways. I think I'd learn. I'm the same way, taking jobs that go wrong. I'm basically a walking disaster. So you're saying I'm a disaster? I'm saying you're not alone. <laughs> Farrick said this job would end with Solas. We'd stop a ritual, then I'd walk away. But those gods escaped. Not much of a win. And if the world falls, the city goes too. It's not like I'll find work then. Is that why you said yes? To save Minrathus? People will tell you Minrathus is broken. And they're right. It's corrupt, petty. Saving the world won't fix it. I take the small wins, Rook. Hal serving fish another day, getting past the next scrape alive. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you get more. But the tables always turn. It's better if you know it's coming. Sometimes luck sticks. You believe that? Then I've got a Treviso manor to sell you who needs a good tenant. I'm not a mark. I'm serious. I know. We managed to keep out of trouble. Let's get back before that changes. How is he? It is good Rook found Dareth's contract. Heir says Jacobus is comforted to know his cousin's death was not in vain. Work might help focus him, but until he can control that temper, I cannot approve Jacobus as a full-fledged crow. I feel as you do. You're here. Thank you for making the arrangements, Dea. For Katerina? How could I do otherwise? I'm so sorry, Lucanis. This must be such a blow. Rook, thank you for coming with him. I need Juan de la Muerte to plan this. His cousin has been no help at all. I'm sorry, Dea. This is just too much right now. If there's anything I can do, just say the word. You're such a dear. I hope these two are paying attention. Thea, don't flirt with my colleague. Jealous? Fine. Do business, then. There's a lot to plan. But first, I need the ashes. Ashes? Make it help us. Yes, the ashes. Katerina's ashes. From the cremation? Oh, yes. Of course. I'll get them to you right away. Ilario, what happened? What do you mean? Katerina, how? 
How did the Venatori get to her? When? Where? In the estate? In the city? How did they get past our people? What did they use? Poison? Blades? I need to know. Cousin, stop. You can't dwell on this. It'll drive you mad. I'm not dwelling. Zara killed the first Talon. I have to know how if I'm going to stop her. I told you. I'm handling it. Boys, enough of this. We have other things to discuss. My apologies, Andradea. Continue without me. I'll get you the ashes. How are you holding up? I'll be fine. Better once we kill Zara Renata. It's him I'm worried about. Hilario can be a handful, but this? The only time I've seen him like this was when Lucanis died. You're worrying, aren't you? What will people say if they hear the demon of Virantium has a big soft heart? He's been careless at times, but never when his own life was on the line. Zara took down the first Talon. Anyone could be next. And my cousin doesn't want to think about it? You have a point. It's not like Hilario to ignore a knife coming at him. What do you need from me for the funeral? Come. I'll get us some drinks and we can make the arrangements. Our house owes you for handling all of this. Caterina was family. Can you imagine what she'd say if she saw us all like this? She'd be furious, especially at Hilario, as usual. I barely know your cousin, and he already seems like trouble to me. Oh, he is. I've lost count of the times I've had to pull him out of the fire on the job. He's a good assassin. Most jobs don't have as many fires as yours do. I'll have my people keep an eye on him for you. Thank you, Taya. Go on. I'll let you know if something comes up. There you are. I haven't seen much of you lately. I was getting worried. Everything all right? Wait. That dagger. I've seen it before. Solus was using it at the ritual site. No, uh, before that. Shit. It can't be. Look at it, Rook. I have. Plenty. Ever since it hurt Harding. That blighted chunk of lyrium is what started all this, in more ways than one. If I hadn't found it in the deep roads... You remember the story. One carved idol of red lyrium made its way to the surface and all hell broke loose. It can't be the same one, can it? Oh, look at it. It's changed, but it's the same size. Same ring at the top. Not to mention, it's pure lyrium. No one. Not even the dwarves in Orzammar work pure lyrium like that. It's too dangerous. If that's true, if this dagger is the red lyrium idol from your story, how did Solus cleanse it of the blight? I, I have no idea. I can't believe you found it. Oh, hey, Rook. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You seem a little more comfortable with your new abilities. 
How are you feeling? Things are weird, but I'm adjusting, I think. That's not what I came in here for, though. All right, Harding. What's on your mind? So, the Wardens. I know some. A married couple Varric and I met while we were tracking Solus. I'd almost forgot about that. I really am getting too old for this shit. You think they'll talk to us? After the first Warden and everything? It's worth a try. I can write them and hope. Okay. Let's see who's in our corner. Thing everyone's doing, or just her? Felt it the moment the boat docked. Even Spite felt the chill. I did not know he could. Dark spawn. Let's clear them out. Here, the blood in this island must be running wild. Then we'll just have to deal with it. What's this? It looks like an entryway. Wait, what happened? This doesn't feel like the fade, more like a dream or. Andaran Atishan. Lassa Gilan. Spirits, fade friends, come forth. Enter the circle. Reveal yourselves. Solus? Is that him? If it is, he doesn't see us yet. Spirits, the Dreadwolf asks for your assistance on a crucial mission. Does he think I'm one of these spirits? The false gods, the Evanuris, have overreached. I shall humble them. Within this citadel lies a relic, with the power to imprison even a god. With it, I can bring their tyranny to an end, forever. You are spirits of chaos, disorder and disruption. We ask you to disrupt the citadel's defenses. Give us the opening to get that relic. For freedom! We're seeing the past when Sola sent this spirit army against the gods. If we're spirits of disruption, 
Let's act like it. Fight for Solus? I guess as long as it gets us Spirit, to the truth. How did the wolf call up so many? <laughs> Memories are real enough to stay. Like a spirit of disruption. The gods told us his forges couldn't be breached. their plans. Elganan may be a tyrant, but he is not a fool. That means the relic is genuine. We are close, and Elganan is afraid. But our strongest in the vanguard. Prepare to breach the citadel. It will not be easy, but we shall win the day. Disruption, lead the charge and do what you do best. Whatever champions the gods send against you, bring them down. More of them. Death to all tyrants! Reinforcements! We need more reinforcements! You must hold fast! For victory! Disruption fought to the last, and it was all for nothing. We couldn't take the Citadel. Wait, that body's... me? It was not for nothing, my friend. The distraction the spirits gave us allowed our agents to retrieve the relic. Distraction? No force could have breached their Citadel. But it was necessary for the enemy to believe we were committed. A heavy sacrifice, but one that gave us a real chance to end the war. You knowingly sent all those spirits to their deaths. Solus, we're supposed to be better than that. They died true to their nature, doing what they loved, Felasan. Let that be a comfort, that this war did not corrupt them into something different from what they were supposed to be. That's all it was. By this point, Solus didn't care who he sacrificed if it meant stopping the Evanuris. I doubt it was the last time he did so either. Let's see what this fragment can tell us.
That fade tear is spewing blight. That must be how the gods are sending blight into the crossroads. Wardens Evka and Antoine answered our letter. They're willing to talk. In the middle of nowhere? Where the first warden won't notice. But if they don't listen... <sighs> Your distraction worked. Could have said it when we were farther away. Désolé, I didn't say it was a good plan. Ah, you made it! Antoine, Evka, it's been a while. Yes, and Harding, it's good to see you again. I hear you've been causing problems. Solus, the ritual, ever since I left, it's all gone wrong. Then we'll fix it. Or die trying? That's the deal. What happened? It's the elven gods. They're real, and they're changing the Blight. Darkspawn too. You must have heard of Demeta's Crossing. The Blight there was unlike anything I've seen, and it hit too fast. Whatever comes next, it's bad. A change? Manipulation could explain it. We've been looking into oddities with the Blight ourselves, and... It's altered. I can feel it. Then you believe me. You're a lot of things, Rook, and a good warden's one of them. You wouldn't lie about this. Thanks, I... just... thanks. Well with you. Now, let's see what we can do. If the Blight's changed, we need our order. The First Warden likes us more than you, but that's not saying much. If he thinks what happened to that village was an aberration, a further hunch from Evka and myself won't win him over. We need more proof. If the Darkspawn are changing, Davern might help. Even among Wardens, he's known as a monster hunter. He got pulled on a mission, not sure what, but it's farther into the mountains. We can get you a rough location. I married someone with good advice. You find Avrin, and we'll keep after the Blight. Got it. Stay safe. You too. We'll see you soon. I'd say we found the camp. So did some dark spawn, looks like. The fire's still going. Were they ambushed? Be damned. A griffin. Trouble is, he's not sure what you are. Neither am I. Rook, Evkan Antoine sent us. We're looking for Davrin. You found him. Mind telling me why you smell like Darkspawn? Griffins hunt Darkspawn. 
Easy. I'm a warden too. We found blight in the tent. You've had company. Where are Lancet and Remy? The camp was empty when we got here. Hassan, to the trees! We can help. Another warden couldn't hurt. Try to keep up. He's got a scent. Follow the squawks. Since when do we have a griffin? Aren't they extinct? Been keeping it quiet, even from other wardens. It's why we're training in the middle of nowhere. Hassan, don't get too far ahead. He spotted something. Darkspawn. Dead Darkspawn. These were part of the training. Hassan was half right. There's no time for half wrong. Hassan, we're looking for live Darkspawn. He understands? Not sure he understands anything but dinner. Keep on it, Hassan. They're around here somewhere. Get up that. The Griffins have been training for this sort of thing. Let's see if Hassan was paying attention. So you're the bodyguard. Griffins are the warden's greatest legacy. Someone has to. Hold up. There's the dark spawn. Let's get in there. I hate fighting dark spawn. Something in me just recoils from them. That's why it's a job for professors. <laughs> Nowhere. Darkspawn were following it. Lancet ran ahead. It's back? Davrin, remember. A light touch. Asan's still learning. You're the trainer. Not anymore. <sighs> we have to keep going. Let's get through here. Those two statues are the spare key. Line up the symbols. What did you mean by, it's back? Something's stalking Grey Wardens. We call it the Gloom Howler. I'm hunting it. Started happening seven, eight months ago. Darkspawn obeyed. Some kind of hold over them. Hassan, on me! No time for hide and seek, Hassan. This is real. Hassan? Is that Elvin? It's Elvin for Arrow. Elvin grows into it. The 
bridge is out. This place is falling apart. There's a ladder up there. That's our way through this. Good job. Watch out, Rook. Dark spawn. Make this quick. We have to get through here. Ah, help the fight. The elevator's behind that blight. Let's get through it. I've never seen Dark Spawn this bold. Not unless there's a blight. There's a blight. We'll explain the weird things up here. First Warden hasn't said anything. He doesn't want to listen. He's a stubborn one. Why does the Gloomhowler want the Griffins? The real question's how it knows about them. Up until now, it only went after Wardens. Now it shows up here with a rabble of Darkspawn? These Griffins are a secret. the blight boil. We better take a look.
pike. Them out of there. Can't. Some kind of blood magic on these locks. It's okay, Highness. Calm down. You two are up there. back for you. Don't worry, Big Tooth. We'll get you out. The blood is mine! So it can talk. I'll spill mine before that happens. And I'll collect, Warden, on both of you. Yeah? Let's give it a go. Your time will come. There are only 13 griffins alive in Thetis. That monster just took 12 of them. What if we could help get them back? I'd ask. What's the catch? I need a monster hunter for the blight to end all blights. The first warden agreed to this?
He'd rather arrest us. If you're lucky, when has he ever gone easy? The First Warden's fighting the wrong war. Well, you did save Asan back there, so you're no lightweight. And if you can help get the other Griffins back... He likes the idea. He's hoping you brought food. All right. Come on, Asan. Let's get to know our new friends. So this is where you live, huh? In the Fade? Yeah, it's cozy. And the gods can't find us here. Right. Never going to get used to that. We'll find you and Asan a nice... Ruh. What's wrong? Everything's wrong. Treviso and Minrathis are both under attack. Blighted dragons. Two of them. One for each city. Damn it! So the dragon at Demeta's crossing wasn't the only one. You got back just in time. Any sign of the gods? Two dragons at once can't be a coincidence. If it is, the shadow dragons and the crows didn't say anything about it. Last time you saw the dragon, the gods were nearby, no? They'll be lurking somewhere. Treviso's a merchant city. It has no defenses, and the canals run everywhere. If we don't stop that dragon, People will die. Innocent people. My people. They either die right away from the dragon, or slowly after, from blight in the water. We need to go to Treviso. And leave Minrathus to burn? Nev. The Shadow Dragons will fight, right to the end of it. But we're the only ones keeping the Venatori in check. And if we fail, the Venatori will take advantage. They'll make a push for the throne and hand the gods the entire Tevinter Empire. Have we been able to f Damn it! There's no time! I need to go home. I need to be in Minrathus. And I must go to Treviso. Go where you feel you must, Rook. We cannot wait. What's our move, Rook? We help Nev and Minrathis. But the Treviso civilians! Yeah, I know. I don't like it either. But if the Venatori take control of Tevinter, it's gonna get a whole lot worse. That said, two of you should go to Treviso. See if you can help Lucanus get the civilians to safety. And we'll head to Minrathis. Understood. Let's all try to make it through this alive, alright? Circling the Anderella's grounds. Gotta hurry. Dragons here. I was expecting it to be bad, but Nev has to be around here somewhere. Let's go. Stop us. Your lord demands death. Oh, my God. 
Brooke, you turned up. We could use the help. The dragon's tearing up the city, and the Venatori are taking advantage of the chaos to seize control. I've heard they've made it all the way to the Archon's palace. Forget the Venatori for now. We need to stop the dragon. We can't fight it while it's flying. We need to ground it. If we can keep it here, we can stop it from destroying the city. All right, let's see if I can get its attention. gone, but it's wounded. Gilanine will heal it, then it'll come back stronger. If only we were faster or figured out its weaknesses a little quicker. We're able to keep it grounded. Take the win. Dragon's still out there, but it could have been worse. It would have been worse if you weren't here. The dragon in Treviso, we could still help. Let's go. Hold on, Lucanus. We're on our way.
We chased away the dragon in Venrathis. Did you kill the one? We did not. That monster flew around the city for hours before it left, utterly out of reach. It rained ice on the city and spread blight in the canals. Treviso survives for now, as do the crows, but... We came as quick as we could after Minrathus. There was little chance. However fast you came, the gods timed their invasion well. I thought we'd be faster. I thought... You're a Grey Warden. Can anything be done about the blight in the waterways? First, block off the affected canals. Warn away everyone you can. The Wardens might have something more, but we may have worse coming with the gods. Just send them word. Please. We will not be idle. There are people to save and Antam to be made examples of. The city must know who did this. Give us time, Rook. If you truly wish to help, the crows will have work. The others, Nev, are they all right? They are. Then I can focus on Treviso. Once we find our footing, the blood of these gods will flow. Blighted dragons, Darkspawn obeying the Venatori? Maybe Solus will know something. Greetings, friends. Chance Candide, at your service. I'm Rook. Ah! Taya and Viago have mentioned that you can be trusted. And I require assistance. The Blight has piled itself onto the streets, choking off the city. <laughs> we cannot have it. I will mark where it is worst. Please, go and clear it away. As a Grey Warden, perhaps you need no luck to deal with the Blight. <clears throat> but I wish it for you, still. I heard what you did. Jacobus. You helped Minrathus. You left us. And Treviso. All the blight. Just don't talk to me. How's Treviso? More and more people are streaming into the field hospital we set up in the market. It is at least good to know so many survived the dragon and the blight. We will do what we can for them. what the blight has done to this place. Do Templars really not have authority over mages into Vinter? What happens if there's blood magic? What do they do? Depends on the Templar. Depends on who's bought their loyalty. What do you do when the authorities can't be trusted to do the right thing? That's how I keep busy. <gasps>
there. That pile of light. That's what Chance wanted us to clear out. Can't let it spread. Be so hurt as it is. Target those blade foils. That should be it. We're weakening it. Say it, but we should take a look at that dark spawn. Something was off about it. This dark spawn's wearing a necklace. The pendant's shaped like a crow. We need to show this to chance. Chance, we got rid of the blight in the streets, but we also found this crow pendant on a dark spawn. Is that? <sighs> this was Ayers, our trainer for the fledglings. She went missing. That dark spawn you fought must have been. <sighs> May she rest. And sadly, I must ask you to search for another wayward crow. Who is it? Fletcher. Our provider of fine goods is also missing. They were sending me reports of Antom movements. <clears throat> Despite this blight, our invaders are planning something. Here are Fletcher's roots. If the blight found them, they deserve a clean end, like any crow. Read the notes on the Circle Road case. The murdered Magister's aide? Killed with an arrow instead of magic. Hard to get an angle like that. It is. Where would you take it from? I don't know the place that well, but there's a tower not far that would get a clean shot and good cover. But if you were angry and in a hurry, if the shot were more lucky than planned. Hmm. Well, there's that bridge. Wait. Why are you asking me?
company. you want? Look around. You think I can deal with whatever trivial bullshit some strangers brought to town? What?
Your warden contacts. Efka and Antoine, you think they'll come through? They'll try. Well, it's more than we've gotten from the first warden. Where'd you meet them, anyway? It was the Deep Roads. They were there on warden business. Varric and I were after Solus. We didn't tell them at the time, of course. But you survive a Deep Stalker attack together, and you make fast friends. sealed tube with notes and code we should take this back to chance and let him know fletcher's at peace Chance, we found Fletcher. <clears throat> Make her guide them to your side. Fletcher also had these notes. <laughs> Always scrupulous. If this is information on the Antum... <clears throat> <clears throat> Are you all right? <laughs> Merely a cold. Thank you, my friends. I must now think and figure out what the Antum are plotting.
We don't know what it's like for him. Almost there. We're not safe. So after crossing paths in the deep roads, you kept in touch with Evka and Antoine? Yeah, we trade letters every few months. One time, Antoine sent a diagram for some kind of automatic door he was developing based on springs. It chimed when it closed. Crossing paths in the deep roads, you kept in touch with Evka and Antoine? Yeah, we trade letters every few months. One time, Antoine sent a diagram for some kind of automatic door he was developing based on springs. It chimed when it closed, so you wouldn't get stuck. He can be a little unorthodox. Aren't we all? What? You're hungry? I found a yam in the kitchen. <coughs> Stubborn just means you'll starve. Trouble settling in? Doing the best I can. My job was to keep the Griffins safe, not fix their dinner. I meant Asan. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're both adjusting. Well, a confused griffin should fit right in around here. Appreciate it. There's no training manual for them anymore. I guess we'll figure it out together. Griffins don't trust easily. Lancet and Remy had to work to win them over. They said a warden and a griffin have to move as one. Think as one. They call it Turlum. Sort of unity. But now, they're both dead. Why'd the Gloomhaller attack the Airy? I intend to find out. First it stalks Wardens. Now it's after the Griffins. Doesn't seem right that they go extinct twice. Not if I have anything to say about it. You sure you'll have time to help? You've got a lot on your plate. Elgernon and Gilanane. Hard to believe. Can't be easy hearing that your own gods are ending the world. Elves have enough trouble. Don't need this on our heads too. But I have to say, killing a monster is one thing. Taking down the goddess of all monsters and the god of vengeance while you're at it? I'm not blind. It keeps me awake at night. Just making sure you know what you're in for. And we're all in for it. Well, I've been in a staring contest with death most of my life. Haven't blinked yet. What? I told you. 
It's yams or nothing. Or maybe you need a new menu. When last we spoke, you intended to assault the cruel and the corrupt, in hopes of finding servants of Algernon and Gerene. Has your search been successful? You could say that. It looks like both the Venatori and the Ontom are working for Elgernon and Gilanane. Unsurprising. The Venatori want magical secrets, and the Ontom want to destroy anyone opposing their brutal expansion. Both will readily bow to anyone who promises them power. It's more than a promise this time. The Ontom and the Venatori both have dragons doing their bidding. Dragons? That is worse than I had feared. Yeah. We drove off the one the Venatori brought into Minrathus. Barely. Have you determined how the dragons are being directed? If it is blood magic, it may be possible to disrupt their control. The dragons were blighted. We think that's what let the gods control them. The blight? Of course. The Blight seems to be the gods' favored tool right now. We ran into Venatori who could control Darkspawn. Algernon would not bestow such power unless the Darkspawn were to serve as the main force of his army. And I suspect Gilanane will see the Darkspawn as new subjects for her... modifications. We've already run into a few Darkspawn nobody has seen before. That's in addition to the Blighted Dragons. That is the fate Algernon and Gilanane planned for this world then. Corruption and blighted slavery. Right. Everyone should be free and uncorrupted when your demons and raw magic kill them. Do you truly believe my goal was to destroy this world? I believe your goal, like you said, was to transfer the gods to a better prison. The one you're stuck in now. And you were willing to tear down the veil and destroy this world while you did so. The Veil is a wound I cut into the Fade in a moment of desperation. On making their prison, it should not exist. I had a host of spirits ready to help when the Veil fell. They would have minimized the loss of life. Do you have any idea what you sound like? You could have actually saved the world from the Blight, but instead, you chose to kill thousands of people with your vanity project. It is not vanity. I broke this world. I am the only one who can fix it. Spoken like a god. I am not a god. I am as I have always been. A man. All too aware of his failings. But equally aware that if he did not act, accepting the judgment it would bring, all would be lost. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? I don't care what they call me. If they're calling me anything, it means they're still alive, and that's all that matters. Acceptance. You are willing to face the consequences your actions may one day bring, because the world needs you. I believe I can work with that. If the gods are using dragons, you will wish to find someone trained to fight them. 
Have you unlocked the lighthouse Alluvian? Yeah, we found the crossroads. It's still confusing, though. I cannot help you from in here. You may need to find an expert in the magic of the Fade. And if the Darkspawn are to be Elganon's army, you will need Grey Wardens to fight them. I've got a few of them, and I'm a Warden myself. Maybe that's enough. Doubtful. You'll want an army. And I believe you will find a way to obtain one. You seem to have a knack for gaining the cooperation of your adversaries. It's a very linear story. Solus thinks we need a dragon hunter and a fade expert. I wouldn't trust the Dreadwolf, but he's not wrong about us needing a dragon hunter. I've been a warden for a while. Seen some pretty awful things. But what the dragon did to Treviso? I'll never get that out of my head. Lucana stayed. Said he'd be back soon, but at least you took care of yours. We heard it but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. A dragon hunter would have helped him in Rathas, that's for sure. <sighs> Don't remind me. Fewer people injured, and we wouldn't have to worry about it coming back. We can't forget the second dragon in Treviso. We should see how we can help, but... We're without Lucanus until he's done helping the crows. Who knows how long. Hey, let's not get stuck in our regrets, all right? Just so we're clear, you're taking advice from this elven god, Solus. The Solus who tried to tear down the veil? You really trust him? He's been right about a lot of things. He knows how Elgernon and Gilanane work. We need him. As long as you're sure. So a Fade expert and a Dragon Hunter. I'll ask around about Dragon Hunters and see what turns up. Come talk to me in a bit. And I've been corresponding with someone about the Lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry. Not relevant. I'll get a message through to a Fade expert immediately. <laughs> See, Rook? Nothing to worry about. All right. We all know what to do. Let's get going. Rook, I was thinking of taking us on for a walk. He could use the exercise. Chance to stretch his wings. Thought you'd like to come along. Laura, what's your lead on getting us a fate expert uh, for the team? Good evening. Greetings. Rook, so we need a fate expert. I've been writing to a senior mage who fits the part. But right now he's on an expedition, so I reached out to his colleagues to find him. This is Lady Myrna and Vorgoth. They're necromancers. Mornwatch ones, I mean. Your friend's request for a fate expert was urgent. How dark some are things outside Navarra? Very. I see. Bellara's correspondent is Professor Emric Volkarin, a fade expert and powerful psychogoth. You will need him. Where can I find him? The Professor is currently delving the shrouded halls in the Grand Necropolis. We will grant you passage to look for him. Where the dead. Lately, they grow... restless. Sir? 
So I put the word out for dragon hunters, and I've heard back about someone who might work. It's a woman named Tosh from a group of Ravani treasure hunters called the Lords of Fortune. Sounds promising. An agent for the Lords said that Tosh is working on a mission for them along the Ravane coast. If we help her, she'll be free to join us and fight any blighted dragons the gods throw our way. What do you know about what's going on in Ravane right now? Not much more than you do. Varric and I never went there while hunting Solas. The Kunari were on pretty good terms with Ravane, but that was before the Antom military broke away from the rest of the Kuhn. I wouldn't be surprised if the Antom invaded Ravane like they did Treviso and Eastern Tevinter. All right. Guess we'll be ready. Thanks for finding a contact. There can't be that many professional dragon hunters around. Time to find out if the crossroads can get us to an alluvian in that area. We'll head out whenever you're ready. Aren't these the old Fulbright? If Elgernon and Gillenane can control people, we have no defense against them. It is true. The gods' workings project elements of the worst kind of blood magic. And what do you know about blood magic, Witch of the Wilds? Enough to be wary of it. It is addictive and dangerous when wielded by mortals, and likely leads to disaster when wielded by gods. So you say. Bail jumpers are in trouble. They could use our help if we can find them. This map is a good start. Let's get going. I've been thinking. Lancet and Remy used special food to train the Griffins. Said it was the fastest way to start a bond. Right, the, uh, 
What did you call it? Turlum? That's it. And gingerwort truffles were the Griffin's favorite treats. They grow around ruins. We're going to teach Asan how to find some. <laughs> How did you end up with the Grey Wardens? Grew up in a Dalish clan. I'd hear all these stories about things that happened thousands of years ago. The Dalish do love their history. Except I wanted to make history. Didn't fit in. Got bored, so I went looking for adventure. How'd that go over with your clan? Poorly. They felt like I rejected them. Did you? Yeah, I suppose. Clan life wasn't for me. I had to get away. So then what happened? You're out in the world, looking for adventure. Got my ass kicked. Went broke. I couldn't go crawling back to my clan of failure. Doubt they'd take me back. It forced me to figure out what I was good at. Always had a knack for hunting. Not a truffle. That's enough. You'll get fleas. <laughs> At least he's having fun. <laughs> Through these, purrs when you scratch him. Maybe we can speed things up by helping him. Let's search the bushes. Look around for truffles. Was a thorn. Keep looking. Nug droppings. Yuck. The nugs pretty much own Arlithan Forest. Nope. This is harder than it looks. It's fleas, isn't it? What I tell you. Actually, I think it's a truffle. Huh. Maybe the Nugs like truffles. Could Hassan know that if you follow them, you might find truffles? Are you really that smart, boy? <coughs> Seems pretty clever to me. If only you'd be clever enough to listen. Well, you're still getting to know each other. Remember, Turlum. <sighs> Remy was probably right. Remember how she said he needed a lighter touch? 
If I go soft on him, the world would chew him up. Let's give you both a chance and see if you can find any more of these. How? Find some nugs, see what happens. So how did you go from hunter to slayer of monsters? Uncle Eldred. An old elf I knew growing up. When I was a kid, I'd hunt just about anything. Rabbits, deer, fox. Eldrin gave that purpose. Taught me the way of three trees. The way of the arrow, way of the bow, way of the wood. Hmm. That sounds noble. Eldrin taught me to hunt the unnatural so the natural can thrive. Be a force for good. Besides, it was either that or starve. Monsters paid good coin. But why become a Great Warden? If you were making money on your own... I didn't leave my clan to get rich. Had to prove it was all worth something. I needed a cause. There are easier causes than dying in the deep roads. Darkness is a sparring partner. The greater the shadow you confront, the stronger you are for winning. Till you meet one you can't beat. Haven't yet. Son's got something. Why don't you take a look? I'll be damned. Follow the nugs. Like I said, he's a clever one. Might make a tracker out of you yet. Hungry? <sighs> what? It's ginger wart. Eat it. Remember, light touch. I mean, mmm. It's dessert fit for a prince. See? He'll be fine. He just has a strong spirit. Let him grow into it. Might not have time for that. With Lancet and Remy gone, if something happens to me, he'll have to stand on his own. So don't let anything happen to you. We're both wardens. Deaths around every corner. Not that I don't enjoy punching it squarely in the face. Two or three times, just to be sure. Mm-hmm. But you can't beat back death forever. Okay, boy. That's enough for one day. But he's having fun. He overeats, and you'll find out how fun Griffin Puke is. Hassan, you heard him. Let's go. Yeah. 